Hey YouTube, I'm Nate and welcome back to the farmstead. So today we are going to do my first ever garden tour. But for me to effectively do a garden tour, I have to give you a little bit of backstory on what's gone into this garden this year. Because honestly, there has been a lot that I have managed to get accomplished over the last couple of months. Um, first priority was to make sure that I had plenty of compost and manure. I have a hookup. Let's just call it how it is. And that hookup managed to secure for me, I don't know, about four tons of composted horse manure. So I had that delivered all oh, a couple weeks ago and I took a whole week off of work so that I could, you know, start getting the garden ready. Well, it took me forever to get the manure spread out. And once I got it spread out, it was still a little too soggy out for me to really get some solid tilling going. So I had to, you know, kind of haul ass essentially and work to get that tilled in. But this is where I found myself in a pickle. I'm pickle Rick! My tiller, which was given to me by my uncle, just old Troy built um, gravely tiller. Really nice rear tie. I had to give that back. He wanted it because he's starting his own little farm. Um, somewhere in southwest Virginia and I had to uh, part with an old friend rest in peace my time with my favorite tiller I got another tiller from Home Depot it's just a cheapo nothing special I don't remember the name of it I have no idea what the brand is guys like I don't think it's Avalanche because every time I've said it's Avalanche I've gone back and looked and it's not been Avalanche so I don't I don't remember the brand but for being a $200 tiller and two star rated on Home Depot's website, it turned out pretty well. So I managed to get everything tilled in, um, turned over nice and clean, and garden got put in two weeks ago now. And so when I went to go put the garden in, I managed to get in a couple of nights all my started seedlings now over the last couple of weeks i've had to replace a few of them with other starts mostly because i did a really bad job of watering my plant starts i did a bad job of hardening them off i was really lazy this year so i had a couple setbacks but got the garden in so i'm gonna walk you down each row we're going to talk about what's there why it's there and Hopefully I don't step on anything. Okay, so down my first aisle, I've made it nothing but tomatoes. And the space just a little bit closer together than what I probably should have. Um, but I've got about 30 or 40 tomato varieties in this garden right now. You can see as we're getting closer towards the end of the garden that the tomato plants are looking greener and greener that's because like I said I abused mostly everything and because I abused everything um, some of my starts didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to but so I bought a bunch of started tomato plants from my neighbor who has a greenhouse so I was able to supplement only about like five or ten plants um, in my second row this row is primarily cucumbers I've got three main variety of what counts as a cucumber I have I have a local variety because again I neglected my cucumber plants so I had to supplement I got a local pickling cucumber I have there are some Monica pickling cucumbers in there that you could get from Oh, Baker Creek. That's who I was thinking of. You can get it from Baker Creek. Uh, and there's also some Boston pickling cucumbers in here. I had the Boston and the Monica's last year. They were really good. I like the Monica's because they don't require um, they don't require a pollinator. There we go. So with them not requiring a pollinator. That means that, at least in my eyes, it's kind of an ideal plant anywhere cucumber. 
I also got some Mexican sour, I think they're Mexican sour gherkins or sour gherkins or gherkins. I don't know what the hell to call them, but I got some gherkins in here. There's only like two, maybe three. I started 12. Neglect. So moving into this aisle, which is row three, not 100% sure of what all's in here, at least not in the first few plants. I have an extension of my cucumber row, and I'll explain why in a minute. I have five basil plants, because if you don't work with basil, or if you don't cook with basil, you're a communist, I guess. Uh, from there, I have my peppers in the ground. So the peppers I chose to plant this year were serrano, habanero, jalapeno, and some bells. So then we move into my pepper row. I didn't plant as many peppers this year as I did last year. I think I must have put in like 20, you know, like 20 or 30 pepper plants. And honestly, I just didn't use that as much pepper as I expected. But I got my jalapenos, habaneros, serranos, and bell peppers in the ground up here. Because I do like me some salsa. But I live in West Virginia, so their idea of salsa out here, it doesn't really meet what my definition of salsa is have it grown up in Phoenix. So, we've got that. Also in the ground, um, I've got some lettuce plants. I think those are lettuce plants. I wanted to try to grow it this year again, but it looks like it's bolting already. I think I don't know enough about planting to really know anything but I have four rows of direct sow crops in so far row one and row two honestly are corn it's just my silver queen corn and you can see these these seedlings are small they've just barely come up out of the ground uh, my next row is my beans row these are supposed to be half runners or some kind of a bush bean. I don't remember. So that that row is all beans. You can see they're coming in nice and dense too. Row three is supposed to be my peas row. And I'm saying supposed to be because they haven't sprouted yet. And I know peas from at least what I remember. I know they do a little bit better in cooler temperatures. So I really don't know what the next couple months are gonna bring. But finally, and you can't tell yet, I have a full row of potatoes. I've never grown potatoes before. I don't know what to expect. The row is empty. The leaves haven't even come up out of the ground yet. So I don't know what to expect. You can tell the garden's a little bit weed filled right now. And I'm letting it kind of get weeded up. And mostly it's because I want to make sure I'm able to <laughs> see where my direct sow stuff is when I actually go to start tilling out the weeds. And that's it. Garden tour number one, done. Um, I'm going to try to have my garden tours up on Mondays every week. I don't know how likely that is. Mostly because I've probably got a hundred hours worth of footage and this is the only video I've put out in two months. So sorry guys. But yeah, I'm planning to try to put these out on Mondays, which will give me my entire weekend to film and edit and upload. Uh, but for anybody who hasn't done so already, and I know 99% of you haven't, I'm a small creator, 99%, that feels good to me. Hit the subscribe button, hit like, leave a comment, and I'll catch you later.